Picardy, now a two-time ECL 1v1 champion. And speaking of the man of the hour, it looks like we have him with us right now as Picardy, first and foremost, congratulations, my friend. Just tell us what you are feeling right now, clinching yet another ECL 1v1 title. Yeah, feels feels pretty good. I would say this this day was a roller roller coaster. I think the first series was very bad and like ah, I don't know what happened there. I saw Nick's level in when he played against Artuzzi. I think can I even win this guy tonight today if I play like I play in the first first match? But I stepped it up. First game was one of the one of the cleanest wins I have ever do. If 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 you allow zero goals against Nick Kedangas, that's pretty good. So the first game was good. Second game was pretty tight and the second one it could have been the either way too, but yeah, no it feels nice to win this trophy. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you mentioned just how up and down this whole day has been for you. You started out down in the series earlier, you said you felt like that was the worst series that you had played at this level. And yeah. then you know you have Nikki Dangles on the other side in the finals that you have to elevate your game. What do you feel like helped you reach that extra level that you needed to take home the series against such an elite level player on the other side? Yeah, I, I just think uh, I have to play like, like, like my own game, just not thinking too much and play good defense, and that's that's was my game plan and it worked pretty well but yeah I I don't know I I, I can't an analyze the, maybe the final series that much at the moment because I can't even remember what happened all in the series because it just happened like totally fair enough and you know obviously your job not totally done on the 1v1 side you do still have the grand finals to look forward to here in the near future how do you feel like being able to not just qualify for that, but to be able to go in as one of the two champions can kind of help you in terms of the confidence and the momentum going into that ultimate grand finals here in a few weeks? Yeah, yeah, of course it's gives a confidence, but there is there is still like new new games and the old games doesn't matter anymore in that moment. So, but let's enjoy this and let what let's watch what we do in grand finals. Hey, we'll see what you can do. I know you got that 6v6 final of Tunnel Vision upcoming, and you'll see Nikki Dangles again on the other side in that final as well. Picardy, thank you so much for taking a few moments. Before we let you go, is there anything that you would like to say to close out? Anyone you'd like to shout out or thank or anything of that nature? Mm, no. Shout, shout out sports gamer like Keno, all the stuff, making these tournaments. As always, biggest, biggest thanks for players and yeah, I'm I'm really really happy to still keep doing these tournaments and yeah, shout out sports game. Well hey, congratulations once again. Picardy, your ECL Spring 24 1v1 champion. We will see you again here in a couple days for the sixth aside, and then we'll see you once again for the grand final. Thanks again, Picardy. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, thanks guys.